What's up, people? So today we're in uh, Act 6 of Snowy Domain. That's the new story that they just dropped. And we're going to show you how to get the Ice Emperor. Now, we already got two, so he's pretty simple to get. All you want to do is open your tiny task, start recording, click on retry. You have to have, I find Tatsumaki very good for this. But if you have any other unit that you could place that's uh, a hill unit, you want to do that. Get them in your inventory and place them there. So I'm going to click on Tatsumaki right away. Boom. Put it right here. We always spawn in the same place. With this new update, they made it so there's only one place you can spawn, which is very useful. Now, I'm going to let her get kills. I'm going to get her to upgrade 5, and then I'm going to move closer. So I could place Jotaro down. I also have Saitama, Overlord. I have a bunch of units like that. But we're just showing uh, you guys that, uh, yeah, you could do it with pretty much uh, any team that you have. Have a hill unit and a strong attack unit. And you should be good. Because what's going to happen is the strong attack unit is going to weaken the boss. And when he makes it to the hill unit, the hill unit is going to finish him off. So it should be simple. And we're going to show you the whole process. For the first uh, little bit, all you have to do is stay still. And the reason I say to go to 5 and not 6 is uh, her damage does not really scale that much from 5 to 6. It does add an extra like almost 2k, 200k, but I think maybe even 100k, 150k, something like that. Either way. It's not a cone AoE, and cone AoEs kill more enemies at one time than the circle. So I like the cone still better than the circle, so that's what I'm going to do. And she pretty much solos all the way to the end. This is a good program to put on a second monitor, because as you can see, I'm not touching anything since the first steps. So you could watch a movie in the background. And leave this running and still use your computer a little bit to like change the stuff because it's not going to take over your computer like some tiny tasks are where you just have to click and spam and move this one's pretty simple and i'll see i'll see if i could uh go all the way to upgrade uh five in one shot let's see i do think it's possible we're already making quite a bit of money Hey, what's up, man? What's good with you? Yeah. What about it? You got some good? Okay. We're just doing a little video right now on uh, how to tiny test the last act. It's pretty simple to get uh, Ice Emperor. He's pretty good. He's strong right off the bat. Okay. I think the last upgrade is like 9k. So we wait just a little longer. Do we stop at 20k? I don't know. I think I'm going to start moving maybe around wave 10. That's what I'm thinking. Either way, Jotaro is really cheap. That's why we're also using him as well. He's going to be a cheap unit to use. So far, I noticed that it's not taking that much. It's not taking too long. It's four minutes and it's wave eight. But it's also stronger enemies too. Uh, so what happened with the, your trait lock, yeah?
Okay, let's uh, upgrade. I think we're good now. I'm going to move the mouse. I'm going to click on her just in case. Some bugged. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? That should be good enough. But we could wait a little bit. I think we jumped the gun just a little bit. So waiting till probably wave 11 would have been better. Or wait 10? Hmm. Either way, you want to make sure you have enough money to buy it. So I'm clicking right now, but let's get a thousand. When I see a thousand, I'm going to click again just to make sure I bought that upgrade because you never know if uh, it's laggy or something. You didn't buy the upgrade, could mess up your process. All right, now we're going to move with the WASD keys. Do not use the arrow keys because changing your viewpoint would mess up the tiny task. All right, so we stop here. Click, 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 and then I'm going to put Jotaro right here. Click on it a bunch of times and just chill. I know it's going to take uh, 12,000 for him to upgrade him uh, max. So we'll see what's up. As soon as we get 12K, I'm going to upgrade him. You could probably do it with any Tatsumaki, even if she has a okay passive. Like, if she has a mythic passive, I think it should be still all right. But there's only really one way to find out, is you have to try it. I'm sure she could just carry, too. But I'm putting Jotaro here because I want to go a little faster. So if you want to make it simpler, I would suggest maybe just upgrading Tatsumaki all the way and seeing if that works, if you have Avatar or Overlord on her. Okay, so we're almost near that point. I guess when it hits around 14, I'll upgrade Jotaro. The only buttons I've pressed are the mouse and uh, basically the S key on the keyboard. All right, we're at 12K. I'm going to click on Jotaro again to make sure everything's good. And just click on them a bunch of times. And look, we're good. So far, it's been seven minutes. It's a little long. But it's not too bad. Especially if you don't have to worry about it. And what we're going to do after to make sure that it's a successful loop, we'll replay the loop and uh, we'll see until the moment we place down Jotaro and start upgrading him and see how it goes. If those work, if uh, those inputs work on the tiny task, we know it's a good loop. You always have to make sure because no matter how good it seems, if one thing messes up for some reason, you could be screwed. A lot of the times you learn after you do uh, the tiny test. And so far, I haven't seen anything that usually I could notice right away if there's something that's going to go wrong in the tiny task. Sometimes when you spawn, you're in the same place, but you're a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Things like that could really change how, uh, how your tiny test goes. Like if, let's say, I was a little bit to uh, the right, then when I'm placing Jotaro, He's too close to the road and he doesn't get placed down. That could affect the tiny task, change the time, and destroy your uh, process, which is not good. As you can see, he's out of render, out of uh, reach for Jotaro. And Tatsumaki is going to finish him. It's 
So it's a 10 minute tiny task. If I would have had Saitama instead of Jotaro, I think it would have went a little smoother. Because Saitama is stronger than Jotaro. But still, Jotaro is cheaper to put down. And uh, yeah, just try with whatever units you have. Any unit that does damage, just upgrade them. I would suggest a hill, one hill unit, one ground unit. Or if you have a really strong hill unit, just one hill unit, you know? So this, as you can see, we got meat. Okay. But, uh, yeah, you could get basically uh, the new secret. Always wait a little bit before stopping it. So I stopped it. And now I'm going to press play. Make sure you put on continuous playbacks. I don't think mine are on. No, mine are on. Perfect. But yeah, I already got two of uh, the Ice Emperors. And he's fairly easy to get. I was trained, I was grinding with another person and they got him like third run. So shouldn't be too crazy. Yep. 3x gone, GG. Damn. Well, it is what it is. We had fun. Good thing I'm not using any more luck potions. Yeah, we're almost done this little video. We're just trying to see if everything works. And if it does, we're going to post this. If you guys want to see a video on... Uh, if you want to see a showcase on the Ice Emperor... All you got to do is click on the link right here. It's going to pop up in the corner. Boom. Just click on that little icon and you'll be able to see the video and how much damage she does. There's also a Sun Jin Woo showcase in there. So, yeah, check it out. Okay. Yeah, Tatsumaki is probably the best unit in the game, though. When it comes to damage, range, everything, time of attack, can't go wrong with Tatsumaki. Literally the best character. And since now all the spawn points are one place, they encourage AFK. So it's beautiful. You could probably AFK every challenge. If you have the right unit, Tatsumaki Overlord, you're probably good for every uh, story mission and every uh, challenge. Yeah, one second cooldown is OP. I th I seen a uh, Shirigami actually makes a one point five. I think the cooldown on Shirigami is a lot higher. 1.5 is crazy, though. It's a big difference. 0.2 when you're talking about 0.7? That's a chunk, yo. Okay, we're going to move around, uh, I think it was wave 10, right? We started moving. Also, the new money unit is broken too. That's the dude at the sixth slot. $600. And his last upgrade only cost 20k, and he's dropping 47. That's with the little yen uh, skill tree. On the bottom uh, right of the skill trees, there's a little 15% more yen. So you're paying 20k to get 47k, which is just nuts. He doesn't have anything on him either. I kind of want to roll on him, 
But I'm not going to do that while I have no good passive on Sun Jin Woo. It would literally suck if I saw that happen. Three times luck is still here. What are you talking about? Homie's tripping. He said GG. He's been saying that. He's copying and pasting. When's the next... Uh... Talking about anime champion. Next thing's in an hour. Yeah, mods get him. Okay. I think it's important to show people the second half of the tiny task. So that it works, you know? Because it'd be dumb if I just expected them to to have blind faith in me, you know? I'm just some random dude on the internet. So I always make the videos longer just to show that it works, you know? Because then sometimes it doesn't work, you know? There's times where I'm like, okay, it should work. And then it just doesn't. I have to restart the video. The worst one was the AF video, the AFK portal ones, anime fantasy AFK portal video. That one took me like three hours because one little thing went wrong. There was the one part where I just because I didn't click twice, I had to restart. I had a perfect run. It was so beautiful. I could have been done in two, an hour and a half. I didn't click twice. And then when it started running into more problems and I was like, oh, snap. It's actually really complicated. But once you know all the problems, you kind of avoid them by doing certain things, you know? This one's an easy, tiny task. And as you can see, Jotaro's down, so this is good. And let's just see him get upgraded. And then we're good to go. We're actually cooking. Yo, Jaden, thank you for the follow. And cheers, yo. Appreciate it. What's the problem with you? Okay, 10K. We're just uh, doing a little video where we're uh, AFK last world. Yeah, you could join. Uh, after this, I'll leave and then add you. You trying to run X6 or you're trying to run uh, Last World? Okay. Nah, we're leaving it in. They have to see it. This is AFK video. So he upgraded. There you go. The video's done. You guys have the proof. It works. It's just going to loop like this on repeat. And uh, there you go. You could AFK for the new secret easily. And I'm sure you could do this for any new character. Because uh, the developers seem that they want to do one spots and make everything AFKable. So expect a new video for that in the future. Peace.